Okay, so now I'm logged on to my Family Connection account. Let's say I'm at the beginning of my college search and I don't know what colleges I'm even interested in. So what do I do? How do I use Naviance Family Connection to help me with that process? Well, first thing I can do is I can go to this Colleges tab. Once I go there, if I know the name of a college that interests me, I can simply type in the name of that college and I can just click Go and I can search it that way. But what if I don't know at all any colleges that I want to attend? We can go to this Super Match College Search. And once we go there, notice on the left-hand side all of these orange links, all these different categories. This allows me to do my college search and narrow it to how much, whatever level I want to narrow it to. So any of these links I click on, I can enter information that help narrow the scope of my search. You can see there's lots of links on the left-hand side here that pertain to your college search. So let's say I know a couple things. Let's say location-wise, I know specifically, I can search by region, but I know specifically even I can search by state. So I, I know I wanted to be in the state of Minnesota. Let's say I want to be in Minnesota. I'm going to scroll down, and I'm just going to add Minnesota. Now you can see all of these colleges on the right-hand side in Minnesota pop up. How do I narrow that a little bit more? Well, they're going to be looking at my ACT score. They're going to be looking at my GPA, my grade point average. So why don't I go to my scores, and I'll enter in... Let's say I had a 22 on my ACT. Let's say my grade point average was a 2.9. Once I enter that in, you can see the search changes a little bit. The percentage of match for the criteria I've entered is also there. 100% match for University of Minnesota Crookston, Bemidji State. Then it might start to drop a little bit based on some of these other schools. Now, let's say Bemidji State University interests me. And I notice that school and I want to look at it. All I do is click on it. And then it'll take me to my account page for Bemidji State University. Notice there's information here below. Okay? It has my name, Curious George, with a 2.9 GPA, that's the criteria I entered, and my ACT score, 22. Below that is a different grade point average. It says Bemidji State University 3.15. What does that refer to? Well, We've recorded the data from the past eight years of Hopkins High School graduates who've applied to and been accepted to Bemidji State University, and this represents their average grade point average, a 3.15. And it also represents their average ACT score, a 22. When we talk to students about looking at colleges, we think it's important that they apply to a school that matches their academic criteria, maybe a couple schools that even match their academic criteria or more, and this school would certainly match my academic criteria. I have the ACT that past students have been accepted into Bemidji State with, a 22, and I have almost the same GPA that students have been accepted to Bemidji State to in the past from Hopkins High School. So this school would be a match. Let's say that I was looking at the University of Minnesota, though, and I looked at that academic criteria. Let's see how that would line up if we went to the University of Minnesota. Whoops, Twin Cities. There we go. And the University of Minnesota Twin Cities. I'll click on that. And now I'll scroll down. And again, I find that academic criteria here. You can see there's a big difference here. 3.73 is the average GPA over the past eight years of Hopkins High School graduates who've been accepted to the University of Minnesota. That's far above a 2.9. If I look over at the ACT score, you can see my 22 is also far below the 27 of the average student being accepted in the University of Minnesota from Hopkins High School. So this school would represent, the University of Minnesota would represent a REACH school. Now, the other thing I could consider doing is I could consider looking at colleges that would be easier for me to get into. Okay, Schools that I know for a fact I'm going to be accepted into this school if I apply there. Okay, That's a safety school. We call that a safety school. It's a safe bet for me to get accepted into those schools. And in some cases, that could be two-year colleges, but there might be some four-year colleges I could find that are safety schools for me, too, where the academic criteria, the grade point average, is below a 2.9, and the ACT score is below a 22. That's a safe bet that I'm going to be accepted to that school. Now, if I just looked at a college, and I wanted to even search the college, and I wanted to see the graph and see what it looked like, I can click on Scattergrams, or I can click on School Graph to get a more in-depth look at what this looks like. Let's just click on Graph. And now you can see this gives me a lot of information 
The legend below tells me what all of these colored shapes are. So a green square means the student's been accepted. A red X means that student's been denied. Again, this is eight years of information compiled. So this is a lot to look at, especially with the University of Minnesota, because we've had several applicants over the last eight years. But this chart helps me to visualize the GPA and the ACT and to get an idea of the students that have been accepted or denied from, from attending the University of Minnesota. This is the best way to begin your college search and to begin to see how your academic criteria aligns with other colleges.